So in this video, I'm going to talk about the why and the how of using these sample remote slide template slides. So um, after receiving a whole bunch of training about remote teaching and then also guidance from administration about the kinds of things that should be included in lessons for remote teaching, I put together this slide template. So it includes all the things that I've learned about this summer, um, you know, things we do in our classroom anyway, but we want to make sure that we do in our remote teaching. So having an entry ticket, um, posting your agenda and why you're doing it so that the kids know the purpose um, and the importance of what you're doing, activating prior knowledge, um, having large room and small room discussions. So having these small breakout room discussions and also small breakout room activities, having large group discussions, kind of going back and forth. Uh, I started using Padlet this summer. I really love it. Um, there are times when you need teacher directed kind of little mini lectures. Um, so I have a slide for that, a slide to remind myself, oh, we should be doing a break. Um, and so basically there's a slide for all the different kinds of things that you can and should be doing in a remote lesson, checking for understanding, um, some social emotional learning, celebrating small wins, um, having out of class breaks if the class is much longer. Um, a shared Google Docs or slide activity, giving them work time to work on problems or activities, um, doing a lesson summary at the end, uh, having that um, uh, discussion uh, about their homework and the due dates at the end of class, and then wrapping it up with an exit ticket. Now, you would not use all of these things. Um, you would use the ones that are pertinent to what you want them to learn and be able to do um, by the end of that lesson. So uh, it would be too much to do all these things in every single class period. So here's an example, just really quick. I put one together for my first day of class with the students. So having a do now, this would be on the screen when they first come into Zoom and they would answer in chat, having my agenda there and explaining why we're doing it. And then one thing that I like to do, so I would have this up in my Zoom and share my screen. One thing I like to do is just put in a little link uh, for any other slideshow that I want to show. So I have an online um, syllabus as a Google slide. So I would just click on this. It's very convenient um, that it's there. All I have to make sure that I have open at the beginning of class is this and everything else that I need to go to is linked within it. So I don't have to, you know, be hunting around in my Google Drive or anything before class. It's all just hyperlinked in there. So I would go to here and we would talk about the class, what we do and do you need a camera and about grading and all those kinds of things. And then very easily to get back on track to teaching, I just click here again, here I'll go to present. Um, and so next thing I do is a poll. And then after that, I would activate prior knowledge. Um, and then I would teach them about how to use Padlet. Um, and then I would check for understanding. And I would just kind of go back and forth between um, large group activities, small group activities, teacher led um, activities. Um, and learning and then uh, activities with high student engagement. And again, just having that template just makes it very easy to say, oh, I could be doing this, I could be doing this, I could be doing this and um, including them in there. So, you know, wrapping up with what is your homework and what did we learn? And here's a ticket to leave. So how do you do this? All you have to do is go into the template and then go to file, make a copy and say entire presentation. And then you can just say like, if I was gonna do one for my photo um, AP class, and that's my first session with them, uh, however you wanna number it. You can go in and change the theme. If you like, I always use the same theme. So click on theme over here and choose the theme that you want. You might have to make little adjustments here and there. Um, and then I would go through, I like to start with agenda uh, because I think about, hey, what is it that I want them to know and be able to do? And I work backwards from there. Um, and I put the activities that we're going to do and the why we're going to do it. And that really helps me in choosing 
which slides and what order I'm going to put them in and then which ones I'm not going to use and just delete at the end. But just having this template here and looking and saying like, oh yeah, you know what? I should probably be checking for understanding or I should really like think about how are they doing as people right now? And maybe we should attend to that. Um, maybe they need a break. Maybe, oh yeah, I should be giving some, them some work time to work on something. Let's summarize what we're doing at, you know, at the end of class. Um, and then, you know, always with the homework so they know exactly what's expected of them and then the ticket to leave. So just having that in the template, you only have to use some of the slides, you don't have to use all of them and you can delete any of the ones you don't use. But again, it's just there to help you um, and keep you on track and just remind you, oh yeah, these are all the different things that I could be doing in my teaching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and I hope this is helpful.